Okay, so you know how most girls collect like shoes or makeup? Yeah, no, I collect protein powders. <laughs> so this is my little collection, slowly growing. As soon as I finish my comps, I'm going to be buying so much more. So, um, I've got a whole different range of flavours from like vanilla to birthday cake, uh, vanilla peanut butter, fudge brownie, and then this one here, which is probably my favourite at the moment, is the peanut butter marshmallow. So you can tell I definitely like those peanut buttery sweet flavours. Oh, and the lemon cream pie is pretty damn good too. Really good notes. So that's my little collection. Hi everyone, it is 7am and I just trained legs at Shave Hop. Um, so just a little update on where I am. So this is will be this is my five weeks out um, vlog. Um, this weekend will actually be four weeks out. Um, so technically that's like three weeks because that week of um, that peak week doesn't really count because you're depleting, carving up and everything. So I'm getting really excited. Um, look, I just I can't wait to just get that variety and um, balance back in in terms of diet post comp. Um, I'm still getting variety of vegetables and fruits, but. I am missing my um, weekly cheat meal of burgers or waffles or whatever. Um, so I just had my weigh-in today and I've actually lost one kilo and 200 grams, which is pretty exciting. So I'm now, I'm in the 63 zone, which is, yeah, pretty crazy. Um, I did, I have got a new diet as well. Um, so last time I spoke to you, I was having the, um, living the life of the high carbs, um, high fat diet. So right now I've got a big change. Um, I'm on a very, very high fat low carb moderate protein kind of diet um, my body's obviously responded very well to that um, very upset my breakfast has changed I'm not getting any protein powder at all so my protein source is pretty much coming from lean meats and egg whites so breakfast is a struggle um, also I dyed my hair brown as well so that's a nice change there back to my natural roots um, that's a little update and I'll keep you posted with everything else and I'll speak to you all soon hi everybody so I'm about to make my favorite shake in the world right now. It's 100% comp prep friendly. I call it Nutella Frappe. It's not actually Nutella, but it's pretty much got the same elements of Nutella. And I swear it's like under 10 calories. So the main elements of this, um, I'm using the hazelnut coffee. That's like a secret. And sugar-free hot chocolate. And uh, this is sweet leaf hazelnut drops. And I'm just blending that up in the Nutra, what is it? I mean, this is the magic bullet. I've already put some ice in here. So, what you're gonna do is, um, depends how strong you like your coffee. I like mine pretty strong, so I'm probably gonna put like three teaspoons of coffee in here. Um, you wanna melt the coffee a little bit first, just so it doesn't um, get, um, just so it dissolves nicely. So, mix that up a little bit. Um, put your hazelnut drops in. Um, I reckon five will do it. Two, three, four, five. And then you're going to mix that up nicely. Pour that into your, I've already put the ice in there. Pour that in there. And then I've got my sugar-free hot chocolate. Less than the cheddar. I'm probably going to put around did they say 15 grams as a serving? So I'm probably just going to put like three teaspoons in that. So one, two, three. All right. Now we're going to add a bit of water in there. So I like it nice and thick. So I'm not going to put too much water in there because I want to have it like icy and thick. I didn't have enough ice. So I'm going to put about four cubes in there. So when you make it, make sure to put a lot of ice in. So as you can see, this is zero fat. Zero fat and probably under one gram of carbs. Okay, so done that. I'm going to blend that up. And that is a thousand percent concrete fan friendly, like under 10 calories. It is the perfect snack when you're craving something really sweet, but don't want to give it. 
Okay, so I always start off my shoulder wor um, workout working the rotator cuff just to warm up and prevent injury and yeah, it's just a good warm up. So I normally do about um, two sets of 20 with that one. Okay, this was a new machine we were trying out um, at Jets Gym. So this was like um, an upright row, so it's really targeting that um, top cap of the shoulders there. So we did uh, three sets of 15 and increased the weight on the last set, and then we um, did a drop set with a lighter weight to end it off with. Okay, here I'm doing seated dumbbell shoulder presses. So with these, I did three sets um, at 20, and then for my fourth set, I increased the weight a bit and pumped out about 8 or 10 reps and then um, straight after that I did a drop set at a lower weight, um, lower weight range, um, pumping about, about 20. So with these there's many different um, positions and angles you can do with this one here. This, um, this is my favourite exercise because it really works that shoulder cap. So you can see in the next clip I change up my position a bit, I've got my forward back, um, my foot back. So it just helps with a bit of balance and just kind of hits a different angle of that cap. So with these, I did um, four reps at about 15, and then um, for the last rep, um, for the last um, set, my fourth set, I did 10, and I increased the weight a bit, and then I ended that one with a, um, a drop set, which you'll see in the um, next clip. So I drop set that um, lateral side raises with. Um, flies so I do these with a really really low weight of one kilos and just kind of pumping that out and you can really feel the burn in that one it's really targeting your rear delt and it's getting a little bit of that um, top shoulder as well so we did um, three sets of 20 with that one rear delts on the fly machine so with this one here, I did three sets of 20, and then for my fourth set, I did a lower, lower rate, um, weight range and did about 25 with that one there. So that one, yeah, is really getting your rear delts and um, lats a bit with that one too. And that concludes this week's video vlog. Make sure you click like and subscribe and tune in for next week's one, which will be four weeks out.